Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's Connor here. Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I am so excited to dive into what we are talking about today. So I'm going to be giving my Kringle and Country Candle Fall 2024 preview video and first sniff impressions. Now I have to admit something. I actually already filmed this video once today. I filmed this video this morning and I filmed it and then I edited it and then I watched it back and I was like, you know what? I don't really like this. And <laughs> the reason was I don't always do it in the way of just like smelling it for the first time on camera, but I decided to do that this time. And when I rewatched it, I just felt like I wasn't really explaining the fragrances that well. And um, I think I've kind of learned that I personally need a couple of like hours of smelling the candles and really understanding the fragrances before I should come on here on video and give you guys my thoughts to best help you guys like understand what the scents are. Like it is already hard enough to explain a fragrance over the video, but um, it is even harder when it's literally me smelling it for the first time and then trying to like gather my thoughts, read the notes and come up with like what I think it smells like. It's pretty hard. So um, I think I'm just going to now going forward do like the videos where I smell them before I hop on video so that I know what I'm talking about. So I feel a lot better now that I'm going to refilm this one and I'm probably going to just do it a lot better. Um, I will say though, I've not had any outside influences on my opinions. I've watched no YouTube videos on these candles. I haven't read the Instagram post. I have literally made sure to skip over everything talking about these candles because I want to have my own opinion. I don't want other people's opinions influencing mine. I really just want to have my genuine, authentic thoughts on these without anyone else uh, influencing that. So that is something that I made sure to do for this video, but um, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Um, I will link down below Kringle's website. I will put all of the information that you need to know for this launch. Um, the, the launch date for this launch is gonna be tomorrow on July 11th. I'm actually filming this on Tuesday, so I say tomorrow, but it's in two days for me, but um, these are gonna be launching at July 11th um, at noon Eastern Standard Time, so 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, I will say though, I do not want to create a rush sensation or a Hunger Games feel or anything like that. Um, these are from the like normal lineup, so these are not gonna sell out like maybe a limited launch would, like the reserve launches or the Mercury launches, nothing like that. This launch, if it does sell out, they are going to replenish these, um, but they are not going to sell out most likely because these are just a part of the a part of the full time lineup for Kringle. So you do not have to worry. Um, obviously, it is still very much summer. It is still early July here, and I actually won't even be burning these probably until August into September. There are a couple in here that I think would be good transitional scents. And there are even a couple that I could probably burn now that I'm looking at that are more like fruity scents. And I'll let you guys know which ones those are when we get to them. But um, I think for a majority of these, I'm probably gonna have to wait until it gets a little bit more chilly and fall weather like, I guess. Um, I am a very strict seasonal burner. So it's really hard for me to burn out a season. I'm not the type of person that's able to just pull out pumpkin spice and burn it in the, uh, 100 degree weather in July. I'm not that person. I'm sorry. Um, there are reviewers like that, so definitely check them out. And I really applaud them because that is so hard for me. And I know that there are a lot of people who are not like me and they don't burn seasonally. They just burn whatever they want. And I wish I could be more like that, but I think for me, I like to just keep it season by season because I think that that's just kind of how I enjoy it. I feel like that would kind of take the specialness away if I was like burning Christmas all year round. Um, even though I kind of have to like, you know, hold myself back from burning fall and holiday whenever. Um, I think that that's really good for me because then I really have that enjoyment and special feeling when I do burn them during the right season. So that's kind of why. But um, anyways, let's get off the tangent. Let's get right into these candles. Um, I will be putting all of the notes down below in the description box as well as the um as well as the descriptions for these so 
follow along if you would like or if you miss anything just go check it out down there also last thing um thank you so much to kringle for allowing me to pre-order these candles they were not sent in pr i did get a discount for these because the ambassadors were offered a pre-order link but um they were paid for by me all opinions are still my own um, and if you want to you can use my code connor15 that is going to save you 15 percent off when you order it is an affiliate code so i do make a small commission back from it but it just goes right into supplying to buy more candles for my channel to review here so thank you as always if you use my code i will put all of that down below but let's go ahead and get into it i'm going to take a little sip of water took two sips actually because I want to stay hydrated for this video but let's go ahead and get right into it so I'm going to start off by just kind of going and showing you guys um what the labels look like and then we'll go into each I'll read off the notes I did print them off right here so I have this and then I will give you guys my thoughts all right first up we have Kringle Candle Bourbon Apple and Oud this one is a really pretty label we've got like a basket of apples Next up, I think that this is probably the cutest label out of all of these. This is the Kittens and Cashmere. Such a cute little kitten. I've never had a cat before. My family's not a cat person. We're very much dog people, uh, but I've always wanted a kitten. I don't know, like, and this is gonna sound mean, but I don't love when cats get super old and like creepy. We have a cat that used to run around our neighborhood and it would kind of freak me out, but I love kittens when they're young. So yeah, such a cute label. Now this one I think is actually my favorite label just in general because of how pretty this is. It is Maple Woods. Just a beautiful fall foliage uh, drive, it looks like, somewhere in New England during the fall time. Gorgeous. Um, pumpkin Rum Toddy, which looks very cozy. I love fall. Fall is definitely my favorite season for not only just burning candles, but everything. I love the weather. I love all of it. Um, salted Maple Pumpkin. This looks super yummy. I want that pie. I love pumpkin pie. And then lastly, Warm and Toasty. This one I was really interested to find out if this was a Marshmallow Fireside dupe from Bath & Body Works because it obviously sounds kind of familiar. So we'll discuss that when we get to it. Those are the Kringles. All right, and then the country. We've got Almond Butter Cookie. You are going to see there are quite a few gourmands in this country lineup. Um, we have Glazed Berry Scone. This is what that one looks like. Then we have Merlot Vines, which I was like kind of annoyed that they're doing another grape candle. And I guess I shouldn't say annoyed, but I'm not a huge fan of grape, but you may be interested on in what my thoughts are on this one. I kind of am surprised by what I think about it, but this is Merlot Vines. I will say this is a pretty color. I love the wax color and I also like this label. This is pretty. Um, pine cones and pomander, I was a little bit surprised to see this on the list because I always have associated like orange clove scents or pomander scents as holiday candles, but I guess they could work during the fall. Maybe this is one that I'll probably get um, again in the holidays, or maybe I'll just like burn half of it in the fall and then save the other half for the holidays, but that is the pine cones and pomanders. Um, praline buttercream, which Katie from Katie's Joyful Life sent me a DM a couple of days ago when she got her order and she was like, Connor, I think you're going to love this one. And she's right. This is one of my favorites. I love this one. I love pralines. We always get pralines whenever we are in Savannah at the candy shops. Um, we have a little, well, my grandparents have a beach house in Hilton Head and whenever we're there, we go down to Savannah and go to the candy shop. And pralines are always one of my favorite treats to get from there. They are like addictive. All right, and then the last one from Country Candle is White Birch and Rain. I love the label on this one and I love the color, but uh, you'll find out about the set. It's, I don't wanna give it away yet, but definitely not my favorite, but you know what? Not everything is gonna be my favorite. Everybody has their own opinion. Just cause I don't love something doesn't mean you're gonna hate it. And just cause I love something doesn't mean you'll love it. Maybe, you know, you'll hate something I love and I'll love something you'll hate. That's what makes the world go around, right? So. Anyways, let's get right into it. I'm gonna start off with Bourbon Apple and Oud and then we'll just kind of alternate Kringle Country, Kringle Country. Okay, Bourbon Apple and Oud. This one has top notes of apple and wood, mid notes of bourbon and sweet, and base notes of tonka and amber. Now, I was a little bit nervous because I don't always love bourbon scents. I really don't like a lot of the alcohol scents in general, but um, I actually, 
really like this one. This is a really pretty scent. Now at first when I smelled it, I felt like it smelled a little bit familiar and I feel like it gives like a Bath and Body Works autumn vibe where it's kind of like that apple. It's a very sweet apple. It smells like a very crisp red apple. Now, I can't really tell you which type of apple because um, I'm not the best at like classifying the apples, I guess, but it's a very nice apple in here. I really like it. Um, I do get a good amount of wood in here. It smells like aged wood almost. Like, I almost smell like that wooden basket right there. I feel like they did a really good job with this picture because it kind of explains the scent in a way. Um, but you definitely get like a sweet apple, the wood, the amber for sure. The amber kind of gives it not a perfumey smell, but almost just like a slight musky smell, almost a little bit of like a conceptual vibe to this one. But um, I really like the amber in here. It's gorgeous. Um, the tonka, I get a little bit of tonka. Tonka is like a very like rich, like kind of musky vanilla smell. And I do think I get a little bit in there. And then the bourbon, there really isn't a ton of bourbon in here. Um, I don't really feel like I know what that smells like too much either though to like judge it. So I can't really say, but I don't really smell necessarily like booze in this one. There is one though where I do smell the booze and we'll talk about that one when we get to it. But yeah, I really like this one. Also, one more thing I wanna compare it to, and this is a total blast from the past. I'm surprised that I even remember this, but if you guys remember from Krangle Candle a couple of fall seasons ago, I think it was like fall 2021 maybe, or 2022. It was definitely around when I started shopping with Kringle. They had one called Autumn Road and it had a label kind of similar to the Maple Woods one. And I remember it had like a cocoa note in it. And I'm not saying that this has cocoa in it, but I, I smell a little bit of resemblance where it's like really woodsy, but like a sweetness to it. But yeah, overall, I really like this one, you guys. And I kind of surprised myself because I didn't know how I'd feel about this, but it's really, really pretty. And I think if you like Bath & Body Works Autumn, you would definitely like this one. This is gorgeous. So that is the bourbon, apple, and ooh. All right, guys, I'm back. I just made a little bit of tea here in my, uh, in my cactus mug. And um, it's just mint tea with some freshly squeezed lemon. It's the Tazo Mint. Um, this is like my go-to. I can tell that I'm gonna have like a really dry voice during this video. So trying to stay hydrated, like I said. So uh, let's get right back into it though. All right, so going to Country Candle, let's discuss almond butter cookie. Um, I was a little bit kind of interested in this one because I love gourmands, obviously, and I love cookie scents, but almond is a note where if it's not done well, I don't always love it. So I was a little nervous. So the top notes on here are sweet and vanilla, mid notes are almond and pumpkin, and your base notes are maple and amaretto. So first of all, the thing I thought first was, wow, this is strong. It is such a strong candle. Almond is a really strong note, probably one of the strongest notes out there, as well as amaretto, and those are definitely two very prominent notes in here. Um, if you like that like almond smell, I feel like you're gonna like this one. I am a little bit hesitant to say I love this one, because on cold, it's not like my favorite cookie scent that I've ever smelled from Kringle. I kind of prefer just like a basic vanilla sugar cookie. This is much more of like a, um, I would say like almond cookie. It's very heavy on like that almond extract, which again, I don't always love. Um, I do get some uh, of that like pumpkin spice smell in here. And it's honestly more like spice than it is pumpkin, but it's not a really spicy. Um, and then I do get a little bit of maple. Um, I think there's a lot of maple in all of these scents, by the way. So if you're a maple fan, just get ready because it's in here. <laughs> Um, so yeah, overall, I like this one. I think that this also may be one of those scents where I'll like it more when I burn it. I'm just a little bit iffy on it right now, just on cold sniff, but it smells strong. I can give it that. But um, I'd love to kind of hear what you guys think of this one once you get your candle. So come back and let me know your thoughts. Um, I don't hate it. It's just not my favorite right now. So that is the almond butter cookie. All right, let's go back to kittens and cashmere, and I'm gonna get a uh, sip while I do that. Okay, kittens and cashmere, love the label. Um, this one has 
Top notes of ozone, green and herbal, mid notes of fernial and eucalyptus mint, and base notes of herbal and amber musk. Okay, I have to admit, I'm not the biggest fan of this scent because it has a few notes in here that I don't always love. First being eucalyptus. Now I like eucalyptus sometimes, but it, to me, it's not something that I love a ton of. Like I feel like I can do a little bit of eucalyptus, but this has a lot of eucalyptus in it. It's not an awful scent. It's a very fresh, clean fragrance. It actually reminds me a lot of Kringle's Sweet, um, or no, I'm sorry, Kringle's Winter Woods. Do you guys remember that one from last year? It had like the whimsical Winter Woods label on it. This smells really similar to that in a way where it's like a eucalyptus, um, like mint type scent. I feel like this is really similar to that, but maybe a little bit lighter on the eucalyptus. It's a, it's actually a little bit more to me inviting. Um, it does definitely have the eucalyptus, the mint, the herbal. Um, I do get a little bit of like a needle or a fur note in here. It almost does kind of have a holiday vibe to it. Um, and then it says green. I don't really know what would be green in here, but I know what they mean. Like maybe it's like the tree, I guess, like the needle. I do like this one though. It's very fresh and clean. It's not something I would normally love. And I don't know if it's something that I necessarily would burn during the fall. I almost feel like for me, these almost like, I don't want to say medicinal smelling fragrances, but these very like fresh, clean smelling fragrances. I think I kind of prefer them during the springtime actually. Um, but yeah, this is nice. I do like this one. And if you liked the winter woods from last year i think you'll really like this candle it's very relaxing zen kind of spa like so that is the kittens and cashmere i will say i don't know why they said cashmere because i there's no cashmere in here you guys if this was a cashmere scent i would have been so happy if this was anything like woodwick's cashmere candle i would have loved it um i love cashmere fragrances so Missed opportunity there, Krangle. I would have rather have had that than like that scent, but I know a lot of people really like those minty eucalyptus scents, so I'm sure a lot of people will love that one. Okay, uh, tea and then glazed berry scones. All right, so glazed berry scones. I keep saying blueberry, by the way, so if you hear me say blueberry, there is blueberry in this, but it's just called glazed berry scones. All right, your top notes are berry and soft spice mid notes are pastry and cranberry and your base notes are sweet and maple i love this this is so good this is the gourmand that i love i love fruity gourmands they are just such delicious uh, scents and i love this one so the first thing that kind of comes out at me for this one is definitely the berry i get kind of like a blueberry smell also it's not listed and maybe this is just my mind but i get a little bit of raspberry as well in here Kind of like the raspberry note that's in Jelly Donut from Kringle. I kind of feel like I get that in here. Um, and then you definitely get some cranberry, which kind of gives it like a festive smell to it. Um, but the one thing I don't get a ton of in here is the actual like gourmandness of this one. I guess the scone part. I really do not get that in here for this candle. Um, it's mostly just the berry but I don't really get a ton of that bakery, which kind of makes me a little bit sad because I wanted that very like gourmand bakery smell to it, but it's still really delicious with just like the berries. Um, you do also get a little bit of maple. Like I said, there is a lot of maple in most of these scents, so be prepared for that. But um, yeah, this is really delicious. I also think that this is a safe scent to burn right now. I could honestly burn right now this candle in July and really enjoy it. It is a little bit heavy because it's like that bakery scent, but it's still mostly like emphasized on the berries, I guess. So yeah, I could burn this now. I'll probably pull this one out in August. So big fan of this glazed berry scone. All right, next up we have Maple Woods. Like I said, I love this label, so pretty. All right, so top notes on this one are sweet and maple. Your middle notes are wood and floral, and your base notes are amber and citrus. Okay, so first thing that pops out at me, uh, kind of obvious, the maple. This has a very strong maple note in here, but it's not like a very sweet cloying maple. I feel like, if anything, this uh, almond butter cookie has more maple in it, I feel like. This to me, Almost smells like the maple. It's like a little bit subsided or like subdued, I guess. But 
I really like the maple that's in here. It's done really nice. And then I get a lot of those kind of more generic notes. You see floral, you see citrus, um, sweet, wood. I feel like all of those combine together to kind of give it a perfumey smell. And I know that, that sounds really weird, like a maple perfume, like that sounds weird, but it's actually a really gorgeous scent. I really like this one. I also think that the amber that is in here definitely kind of helps to provide that perfumey smell, I guess, that I'm picking up. It's almost a little bit conceptual in a way, but it's really pretty. I always love amber. Amber is a beautiful scent. It's one of my favorite fragrance notes in both uh, personal fragrance and in home fragrance, and it just works so well in here, and I always think it just creates a really beautiful fragrance, and I definitely smell it in here. Um, I do think that this smells a little bit floral, a little bit woody. Um, I think that the citrus and the floor, floral are mostly what's giving me that uh, perfumey smell on top of the amber, obviously. But this is a really gorgeous one, you guys. I like this. And even if you're a fan uh, or not a fan of maple, I feel like you may still like this one. Um, I know a lot of people don't love maple. It's kind of like caramel, I guess, where it can just be really cloying sometimes. And there are some maple scents that I don't love just because it's way too much. But... I think that this is actually a really well done maple and it's not that strong. It's not that sweet. So definitely check this out. At least try it in the daylight. I forgot to mention that um, the daylights and the wax melts are really great. If you're kind of feeling a little bit, um, you know, I want to try the scent, but I don't really want to commit to like a large jar yet. Um, the daylights or the wax melts are really great to try out the fragrance without having to get the larger size. And then obviously if you like it, you can go back and buy the larger size. So definitely if not, you know, I know people who do that, they buy every single one in the daylight. And then the ones that they like, they buy, that's obviously really good financially. And it's also great just to not have like a bunch of candles that are large sizes that you don't really like. So I would definitely recommend doing that if you kind of feel iffy about a scent. Okay, let's talk about Merlot vines. Again, I was kind of like, why are you doing another Merlot or like grape fragrance? They have so many of these and I feel like for every launch that they've had for like the past year, it's just been a grape scent. They had the Vineyard Harvest last year. They had the Merlot scent and um, the Reserve line. They had the California Cab in the Reserve line. They've just had a lot of different grape scents. So I was kind of like, how is this gonna be different from the rest? Um, but you may be surprised, my thoughts on this one. Uh, the top notes are currant and grape, the mid notes are rose and berry, and the base notes are wood and musk. And you will be surprised, I actually really like this one. Um, it doesn't really smell anything though like the other grapes since the Kringle is done. I feel like this is such a unique grape scent in a way where it almost doesn't even smell like grape. Like it smells like almost to me it's gonna be so weird, but cotton candy. Like when I smell this, I think cotton candy. It's like a very like sweet, fruity scent, but not even necessarily grape that I'm smelling. It's almost just more like a generic sugary fruit scent. Um, I do also get some of the rose that is in here. It's a very light rose, but it's definitely detectable to me. And I don't always love rose either, but I do smell some in here. I do also get a little bit of the wood in here. It kind of is a little bit woody. I feel like, again, just like maple, a lot of these have wood in them. Um, a Kringle kind of has certain notes that they love to put in every fragrance. Um, and so, yeah, this is actually really nice though. I do not hate this one. And it's probably actually my favorite grape scent that I've had from Kringle. I just don't like grape normally. I feel like it normally comes off as super sweet and just like artificial. And sometimes it either tastes like a grape juice or like Welch's or even like a grape a uh, grape sucker, lollipop, dum-dum, whatever you want to call it. I feel like a lot of the time that's what grape comes off as. And so I'm really glad that this is not that. Um, I don't really know necessarily how to describe it other than saying it to me kind of smells like hot candy. I really like it though. This is nice. So that is the Merlot Vines. I also, again, love the label and the color on this one. Okay, back to Kringle. Let's discuss pumpkin rum toddy. This was another one that I was a little bit nervous about because again, I don't love rum. I don't like those types of boozy notes a lot of the time. Um, so I was a little bit nervous, but the top notes are pumpkin, spice, and citrus. The mid notes are rum and fruit, and your base notes are butter and vanilla. So this one's really unique. I don't know how I feel about it. It's definitely not my favorite in this lineup. It's a very interesting scent. Um, 
I definitely get pumpkin in here. I think that that's probably, if not the main note, one of the main notes that's in here. It's like a pumpkin scent, pumpkin spice, I guess. Um, and then again, I get some citrus. You know what this one kind of smells like to me? And I'm not saying they smell like, but it has the same like effect that I felt when, um, do you guys remember that gorgeous candle? Like gourd just, do you guys remember that one from a couple of falls ago? I feel like this scent kind of has that same smell where it's like pumpkin with like citrus and fruit. I don't know, it's really interesting. I do actually also pick up some of the rum in here. It almost, uh, it almost smells like a pumpkin spiked tea. Like I get like a tea from here and I feel like because it has like those fruity and citrus notes, it kind of smells like that tea and then it smells like you spiked it with a little bit of rum. The rum is not overdone, but it's definitely detectable in here. But um, yeah, I don't know how to feel about this one. It's not my favorite to admit. Um, I feel like it's just, a little bit odd, but you never know with a candle. Sometimes on cold, I'm not sure, but then when I burn it, I really like it. So we'll have to see, but this is one where personally, I would probably try it in the daylight first. I mean, unless you want to try it in the large jar. If you know you're gonna love this one, try it out in the large jar, definitely. But if it were me and I was just looking at those notes, especially with it being fruit and rum and citrus and then pumpkin, I would be a little bit nervous and probably want to get the daylight. So yeah, this is not my favorite, but I do love the label, but we'll have to see, of course. It's not awful. It's just a very unique scent. So that is the pumpkin rum toddy. Okay, back to country candle. We've got pine cones and pomanders. Um, so this has a really pretty label with just some orange pomanders. I also will definitely compare this a little bit to the vintage pomander from last holiday, which was Melanie, Mr. Kong's mom, her collab with Kringle. I'll definitely kind of compare them because they're not the same guys. If you have that one, still get this one because it's not the same. I think they're different. Um, so pine cones and pomander, the top notes are juniper and citrus. The mid notes are fir needles and citron zest. And then base notes are currant and musk. So first thing that pops out to me here is the citrus. I definitely get a very strong citrus in here and it's orange, obviously. It's a very sweet citrusy orange. It's not like a very deep, like, tart orange like I feel like the vintage pomander had this is much more of like a citrusy sweet orange it's a very juicy orange almost kind of like more of a summertime orange than it is like a winter time and I know that that's kind of weird to compare but if you know what I mean you know what I mean um so you definitely get some citrus in here I also get next the juniper and the fir needle it smells like it has like a Christmas tree note in the background and that's why I'm a little bit like this could be a Christmas scent because I do smell a little bit of the needle in the fur, but it's very faint. It's not a ton of that in here and it doesn't overpower. It's just a little bit in the background. And that's honestly all that I get from this one. It also says current, but I don't really get a ton of current in here. Maybe a little bit, but not like a ton to really mention it. Um, one thing I will say about this one is I really don't get spice, which I guess makes sense because there's no spice in the notes in here or anything. And there's no clove or anything, but obviously it's an orange pomander. It's got clove, um, speckles in the orange. So you would think maybe you get some spice, but to me, this really doesn't have much spice at all. It honestly just mostly smells like a sweet orange scent, um, with a little bit of like a pine in the background, but it's really pretty. I really like this one. It is also another one where I feel like I could probably burn this right now during the summer. I mean, if I can get past that little bit of like uh, juniper and fur that is in here, I feel like if I can get past that, I could probably burn this now because it just smells like a delicious orange scent. So yeah, we'll have to see. I really like this one though, but again, it's not at all the same as the vintage pomander, which I love both. I think that one makes much more sense as a holiday scent where this one could even be like a late summertime scent. I really like it. So that is my thoughts on the pine cones and pomander. All right, guys, we just have a couple more. Next up, we have salted maple pumpkin from Kringle Candles lineup. This one is top notes of sweet and spice, mid notes of maple and butter, and your base notes are cinnamon and vanilla. So again, a lot of maple in here. Like I said, a lot of these have maple and this has a very, very sweet maple note. It's much more like that almond butter cookie where it's a very strong, heavy, sweet maple and not like the maple woods where it's like more of a background maple. This is very sweet maple. Um, 
Also, I get a good amount of the pumpkin in here and the spice. It's a very strong, heavy um, pumpkin with some spice as well. I do get a lot of those more bakery notes too, like the vanilla, the butter, um, the sweetness. It honestly, to me, smells a lot like a pumpkin pie. I mean, like it says on here, it kind of also has like a almost like a pumpkin pecan waffles vibe from Bath and Body Works because it's just like that kind of overly sweet pumpkin maple type scent. But I love it. This just smells like a fall bakery scent. And I always love these just delicious fall comforting gourmand scents. And that's what this one is. So if you like those um, like pumpkin pie type scents, I think you'll really like this one, especially if you are a fan of maple. This has a lot of maple in it. So definitely check that one out there. Okay, next up we have the praline buttercream, which I love this one because like I said, I love pralines. Um, this one has top notes of caramel and pecan, mid notes of brown sugar and butter, and then base notes of nut and vanilla. And oh, this is so good. I love this one. It really does smell pretty authentic to what a praline smells like. Um, there is a lot of caramel in here, which if you've ever made pralines, you're basically like caramelizing sugar. And um, it has that caramel smell in here, but it's not like an a cloying caramel to me it's much more of like a candy caramel smell not super sweet and cloying um it kind of smells like if you guys have ever smelled uh yankee candles uh salted caramel which i really like that one and i don't always love caramel as you guys know if you watch my channel i don't always love that note um but i really like how it's done in here and it kind of smells like that salted caramel from yankee um, you definitely kind of get some of that brown sugar. You get the butter, a little bit of nuttiness from the pecan that's in that praline. But um, yeah, this one is so good. Also, the more that I've smelled this, this is gonna sound really odd, but it kind of smells a little bit to me like that Bath and Body Works um, peanut butter pumpkin scent. I can't remember what it was called. It was like pumpkin peanut something. You guys probably know what I'm talking about from a couple of years ago. I feel like I smell that in here and it's weird because I don't know, um, sometimes just like scents come off as certain things, even if they're not really meant to be that. And for some reason, this scent just kind of comes off as that, which is kind of funny to me. So yeah, anyways, that is the um, praline buttercream. You definitely get the buttercream as well. I forgot to even mention that. It's a very rich scent also. So you've got to like those more rich gourmand scents to like this one. All right, we've got one more Kringle. This is the Warm and Toasty. This is the one that I was really curious to see if it was anything like Bath & Body Works Marshmallow Fireside. Um, so the top notes on this one are cedar and smoke. Mid notes are sweet and marshmallow and your base notes are amber and sugar. So yes, this does have kind of a similar vibe to Bath & Body Works Marshmallow Fireside, although it's not the same, because I will say this has more of an infinite emphasis on like the smokiness. It kind of has like that smoky cedar wood, smoky embers type smell, and definitely marshmallow and vanilla, but that's more in the background. I would say this is like 65% or like, let's say 60% of like the smokiness and then 40% of the marshmallow where I feel like Bath and Body Works is much more heavy on the marshmallow and not as much the smokiness. So if you like those more campfire -y type scents, I think you'll really like this one. But yeah, this is really nice. If you like Marshmallow Fireside, check this out. That's always been one of my favorites from Bath & Body Works. So this is a really good one to have in my collection. Um, and it also does kind of have a similar vibe to, do you guys remember last year's Bonfire Bourbon, I think it was called, from Kringle's fall lineup? This to me is kind of what I wanted that to smell like, where it has the vanilla and the marshmallow. So I feel like maybe they took that and kind of added this marshmallow, I guess, to it. That's kind of what I smell, but um, I love this one. And if you like the Marshmallow Fryer side, check this out for Kringle. All right, and then the last one I have here is the White Birch and Rain. Now, I don't want to end on a bad note, but this is another one that I'm not kind of loving, and I think it's actually pretty similar, like for the reasons that I don't like it, to the Kittens and Cashmere one, where it is just so fresh and clean. Um, so let's see, what are the notes here? We've got top notes of herbal and cool, mid notes of eucalyptus and lavender, and your base notes are musk and mint. And this is so fresh and just like too much fresh though. 
Like it has a very minty smell to it, almost to the point where it's a little bit medicinal, um, but it's just like a very, very strong spearmint smell to it. If you guys remember that sweet winter mint that Kringle did in their Mercury lineup, I think it was the first time that they did the Mercury run. This smells kind of like that where it is just like overly minty smelling where it like really cleans out your sinuses. That's what I get from this one. Um, I don't hate it, but it does just have a little bit more of an astringent smell than a relaxing smell to me, I guess. Um, and I have seen a couple of people have kind of compared this to like a cleaner and I kind of have to agree. It definitely has like a little bit of like a pine saw vibe to it because it is just so astringent. There are some notes in here that kind of helps it out a little bit to be a little bit more enjoyable. Like I do get a little bit of lavender in here. Um, I do get um, herbal, I guess, but then just like that eucalyptus, the mint, the coolness. It just is such a like cool scent. Um, and I know like a lot of people like these types of scents and I think that that's why Kringle continues to do them. And I feel like a lot of the uh, people here that do YouTube don't really like a lot of these types of scents, but there is a lot of people who do. So, you know, I kind of see why they continue to make them. So not to end off on a bad note, I will say I love the label on this one and I also love the color, super pretty. So yeah, guys, that is it for this fall 2024 collection. Uh, I really like this collection. There are definitely some that I don't love, which is obviously okay. There's never gonna be just like a collection of everything that I love. There's always gonna be some that just aren't really for me, but there are a lot of good ones in here as well. So I'm really happy about that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you guys are really excited for any of these. Which ones do you plan on getting? Um, and obviously, if you're not getting any yet, I totally understand that because it's not really time for fall. And like I said, this is not a launch that you really need to rush for because um, they're not going to sell out. These are just like the full-time lineup, so you don't have to rush or anything. You can wait, wait for reviews, wait for daylight sniffs, whatever. Um, don't rush into anything. But um, yeah, that is my first sniffs, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a like, thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.